I call it the forever clock. Right, powered by wind, very useful in the apocalypse. The science fiction horror show Stranger Things will be returning to Netflix for its fourth season. Since making its debut in 2016, the show has become one of the most popular shows on Netflix, so it really needs no introduction. Today, we are going to take a look at everything we know so far about Stranger Things season four and why it's heartbreaking. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice, so be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter this giveaway. It's really that simple. To start with, let's talk about the road to the renewal of Stranger Things Season 4. After a few days worth of teasing, Netflix announced that Stranger Things would be returning for a fourth season on September 30th, 2019. The announcement of Season 4 was accompanied by a 45-second teaser trailer video which shows the title and number 4 appearing on the screen, flashing and zooming out and fading against a backdrop which looks like a dark forest. It ends with the caption, we're not in Hawkins anymore. In addition to this, Netflix signed a multi-year deal with Matt and Ross Duffer, who are the creators and executive producers of Stranger Things. This deal is on top of the one Netflix already has with producer Sean Levy. When will season 4 be released on the streaming service? There is currently no official release date for the fourth season. It is to be determined at the moment, but we do know that it is definitely not arriving this year due to everything that's going on right now. Actor David Harbour, who plays Chief Jim Hopper on the show, took part in an Instagram question and answer session back in March where he said he thought new episodes were supposed to come out early next year, although he admitted he didn't have authority on that. Natalie Dyer, who stars as Nancy Wheeler, said that it's going to be a while before we see anything new. This must be pretty heartbreaking for the fans of the show who were left hanging with questions following the explosive 77 minute episode of season 3, which was titled The Battle of Starcourt. Finn Wolfhard has said that having to stop filming when they did was also quite sad for the people involved in the making of the show. Here is what he told The Guardian about what it was like to have to shut down. It was perfect. We were ahead of schedule, which has never happened before because there's never a realistic approach to scheduling. And then boom, it just stopped and everyone had to go home and everyone's just so sad. Now, let's look at production updates. Right now, the production of season four of Stranger Things is ongoing. It will begin in December 2020 and in mid-June we got confirmation that the entire script for the season had been completed. Next, when is filming taking place? Filming for Stranger Things season 4 originally began on January 7th, 2020 and was scheduled to conclude by August 5th, 2020. But in March, production was put on hold due to the global health situation. It is believed that two episodes were filmed before filming was halted. The filming of season 4 officially kicked off again in November. The official Twitter account of the show shared a photo of a clapperboard with a caption which read, Meanwhile, in the upside down, where will the show be filmed? For the first time in the show's history, filming will take place outside of Atlanta. Stranger Things is headed to New Mexico for season four. This was confirmed in October of 2020, and Gaten Matarazzo, who plays Dustin Henderson, said they had started filming episode eight, the final episode of season four. The teaser trailer showed that the team behind Stranger Things had begun filming extensively in Vilnius, Lithuania. Filming at that location had wrapped up in February of this year. Just like previous seasons, most of the episodes will be filmed in Atlanta, Georgia in multiple locations we have seen before. Here's who is returning for the new season. The series would not be what it is without its talented, colorful, and larger than life cast members, so we can expect to see all of the original cast back on the show. Millie Bobby Brown is Eleven, Finn Wolfhard is Mike, Caleb McLaughlin is Lucas, Gaita Matarazzo is Dustin, Noah Schnapp is Will, Sadie Sink is Max, Joe Keery is Steve, Natalie Dyer is Nancy Wheeler, Charlie Heaton is Jonathan, Maya Hawk is Robin, and Winona Ryder is Joyce. Despite the seemingly tragic end to season 3, we know that David Harbour will be returning as Chief Jim Hopper. Next up, the new cast members coming in this season. On Friday, November 20th, the official Stranger Things Instagram page posted a roll call of the new cast members. Joel Stoffer has been cast in a role which is currently under wrap. People who watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. will know who he is. Is. 
Priya Ferguson has been bumped up to a series regular. Robert Ungland, aka the most 80s of wisecracking serial killer burn victims Freddy Krueger, will play Victor Creel, a disturbed and intimidating man who is imprisoned in a psychiatric hospital. Game of Thrones star Tom Wolitschka is Dmitri, a smart and charming Russian prison guard. Mason Dye from Teen Wolf is Jason Carver, a handsome rich athlete dating the most popular girl in school. Jamie Campbell Bauer from the Twilight Saga and the young Grindelwald in Harry Potter is Peter Ballard, a caring man who works as an orderly at the psychiatric hospital. Edward Franco plays Argyle, a fun-loving stoner, pizza delivery boy, and Jonathan's new best friend. Sherman Augustus is Lieutenant Colonel Sullivan, a no-nonsense man who believes he knows how to stop the evil in Hawkins. Nikola Derzheko will play Yuri, an unpredictable Russian smuggler who loves bad jokes, cold hard cash, and crunchy style peanut butter. Finally, British actor Joseph Quinn takes the role of Eddie Munson, the head of the Hawkins High official D&D club, the Hellfire Club. It will be exciting to see what these new cast members bring to the show. The plot for season 4 of Stranger Things. The end of season 3 was extremely emotional with Will, Joyce, and Jonathan packing up their home in Hawkins and jumping into a moving van with Eleven joining them after Hopper's death. According to Netflix official synopsis, Hopper is imprisoned in the snowy wasteland of Kamchatka, where he will face dangers both human and other. It says that a new horror is beginning to surface back in the United States. We don't know where Will, Joyce, Jonathan, and Eleven are going, but what we do know is that they will definitely be back. There is also one very big change. It seems like Eleven has lost her powers because she is unable to even lift her teddy bear off the top shelf of her wardrobe, but Mike says her psychokinetic abilities will surely return. Reddit user WeedMonkey666 has a fan theory. This person says that Eleven could have been infected by that monster bite on her leg in season 3, and because of this, the Mind Flayer could turn her against the town of Hawkins. If Eleven is infected, the Mind Flayer could control her like it did with Billy, Will, and the Flayed to eventually destroy her or use her to get more control or spread. If this fan theory is anything to go by, maybe we don't want Eleven to get her powers back, but we will just have to wait and watch to see what happens. Let's talk about why Season 4 will be heartbreaking. For a long time, fans have been convinced that it is time for one of the main characters to die, and now one fan thinks it will be Steve Harrington after spotting a worrying clue. An unlikely bond has formed between Steve, played by Joe Keery, and Dustin Henderson, played by Gaten Matarazzi. The two of them played a key role in discovering the Russian base under the Starcourt Mall together and grew closer throughout the season. The fan thinks that the showrunners are set to kill off Steve after letting fans watch their bond continue to grow. If this person is correct and showrunners have set fans up by killing off Steve Harrington, that would truly be absolutely heartbreaking. Stranger Things has its own holiday. Yes, you did hear that right. In 2018, two years after Stranger Things made its debut to millions of viewers, Netflix Netflix officially declared November 6th to be Stranger Things Day. What is the significance of November 6th, you may ask? Well, it is the day Will Byers vanished into the Upside Down, an event that causes a battle between a clever and a daring group of kids and secretive government officials in the town of Hawkins, Indiana. This is a good day to watch the whole series again and revisit favorite episodes and scenes. So, how many episodes are there and what are they called? There will be eight episodes in season four of Stranger Things and the team has released the titles of the first three episodes. Episode one is called The Hellfire Club. Episode two is called Tick Tock Mr. Clock. And episode three is called You Snooze, You Lose. We will have to wait to find out the titles of the rest of the episodes. Will there be a fifth season? Stranger Things fans can expect a lot more beyond season four as, in August, Ross Duffer said, season four won't be the end. We know what the end is and we know when it is. Millie Bobby Brown, who plays Eleven, says she wants her character to have a happy ending. In an interview with Glamour, she said, I always say to the Duffers, can she just not smile like in one take? I would love her story to be rounded off by a good ending. I trust the Duffer brothers so much that it's going to be beautiful and I'm going to love it no matter what it is. She continued by saying, and she loves Mike. I want them to get married. That's what I need. I need a wedding scene for Stranger Things, period. This ends the video. Thank you so much for watching.